a document. In the Parliament of Uganda today, we have a member of Parliament of DP who was appointed to the shadow cabinet of the official opposition party. Has she thereby joined that party? We are not going to give up on educating Ugandans. DP believes in constructive engagement. We believe in consensus building as an essential part of nation building. Cooperation for the larger good of the nation has always been a cornerstone of the Democratic Party. We denounce the politics of unwarranted confrontation and negativism. We believe that in a multi-party democracy like ours, constructive dialogue, consultation, and cooperation between the ruling and opposition parties is not only desirable but essential. It has become all the more necessary since several major national issues confronting Uganda today cannot be effectively addressed without evolving a broad platform of national consensus. Therefore, we remain totally unapologetic about our policy of not practicing political untouchability vis-a-vis -vis any party. In all issues of national importance, where national consensus is needed, we shall adopt a policy of dialogue and consultation with all other political parties. Some of our colleagues take pride in not meeting those they disagree with. But as you have seen of late, they meet secretly. Actually, I, I really want to salute President Museveni for being disciplined and a gentleman. Because the day he opens his mouth, people are going to leave town. I really have to salute him for knowing how to keep secrets. Unfortunately, there are those who don't keep secrets, they are beginning to talk. You have heard them on radio stations. How can you take pride in not meeting a fellow leader? Leaders have to meet. In which country can leaders not have to meet? There are those of you who have totally misunderstood the statement some of us made that we worked behind the counter concerning the cases of the two members of parliament, Honorable Alan Sewanyana and Honorable Mohammed Segiri. When I was appointed, people said, let's see what Mao can do. I'm not a judge. I don't grant bail. I'm not even the DPP. I'm not the one who prosecutes cases. I'm not the president of Uganda. But everybody has some influence. Even those of you in the media, you have exercised influence. Whatever I did, which I will not elaborate in detail, I didn't do it for politics. I did it because of the families of those two members of parliament. I did it because of the families of whoever is in detention. There are others I've worked for. Some of you forgot that I was the first to visit Eddie Mutue in Kulu prison to take him food. I was the first to visit a gentleman called Senyange who was driving that grader in Arua. And we worked for their release. 
all that you people have forgotten. You've forgotten that immediately after the 2021 election, I called the chairman of IPOD Summit, who is also the president of Uganda, asking for a meeting to discuss illegal detention. We held an IPOD Summit for which we were condemned. I was cartooned that I'm leaking President Museveni's shoes. I don't mind because that's not the picture which worries me. What worries me are the families of those people who don't have the breadwinner. For some of you, you can enjoy your attention in the media and social media. But what does it feel like? Even before I was appointed a minister, I met the mother of Mohammed Sekirinya at the steps of parliament. She fell down on her knees saying, Mao, help us get Sekirinya out of prison. When I was appointed, she camped at my office and came to my office. The parents of Alan Sewanyana came to see me. So whatever I did, I did it for them, not for politics. I quietly went to Kigo and met the two members of parliament. We sneaked in with Fred Mwesigwa. Fortunately, the commandant of that Kigo prison is someone we know. Mm -hmm. We never posted any social media photo. There are those who, before they even enter Kigo prison, they are already taking selfies with the signpost of Kigo prison. <laughs> we never did such a thing. The case is still there, so we cannot talk about the details. But I want to inform the nation that under the law, there are always negotiations. Even lawyers meet. The DP vice president is a lawyer. He, he knows that when an he can always request to meet the prosecutor. If he has five charges, he can say, okay, I will accept two. So he's then convicted for two offenses and the other three are dismissed. And even be got in bail much earlier. But their case has been over politicized. I remember when one of the MPs from the Leading of the said that there should be negotiation. He was at But what is wrong with negotiation? What stopped Prime Minister Obote and Sekabaka Mutesa the second from talking? What, what stopped them? Do you know how many would have said? Do you know how our country's history would have been different if simply 
Decides one day to talk about who meets him, who talks to him on phone, who he supports financially. So those those uh, opportunists and hypocrites in the opposition should really thank God. I listened to the Honorable Ben Pointika the other day giving some information about one member of parliament who was undergoing treatment in the most expensive hospital in America. That's the hospital of the Hollywood stars. That, that's the hospital where the real billionaires go for treatment. Because uh, who in Uganda can have 700 million just deposited in their bank account? Where your spouse is even paid for watching TV in the hospital. <clears throat> you know, you're, you're just there in the hospital watching television, but you're earning $500 daily for, for watching television. And you are being paid $720 every day. Then you spend all your time Mao, 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 Mao. That is the path we have taken. To the DPs who disagree with the decision we took, bring a motion and table it before the organs of the party. And let it be debated. That's how an organization works. But you cannot even forge an agreement and file a case in court saying Mao has signed an agreement with NRM that DP will never have a branch in Uganda. What sort of party can that be? That's what they call Okusigo Vichai. There are people who we are going to continue exposing. <laughs> and I say, those who tell lies about me, I'm going to tell the truth about you. Avanjo gira kwa bulimba, zenja kubo gira kwa mazima genyi. Let it be a contention of ideas. Our ideas are on the table. We have extreme elements in NRM, we have extreme elements in the opposition. Both of those are enemies of Uganda. Those ones who are saying the president of Uganda will stay whether anybody likes it or not by force if necessary. Those are also enemies of Uganda. Then those who are saying he must go even if the country drowns in blood. Those are also enemies of Uganda. Let Ugandans who love peace and harmony gather around the ideas of DP. Because those are the ideas that are going to take Uganda forward. 
There are those who think that DP is going to abandon Buganda. DP cannot abandon Buganda because DP's mm -hmm. umbilical cord is buried here in Buganda. And DP represents Buganda more than those masqueraders. Go and read the answer. What have they talked about Buganda issues? DP knows best how to integrate Buganda into Uganda. But there are those whose politics is putting a rift between Buganda and Uganda. It is as simple as that. DP wants a strong Buganda in Uganda. There are those who, whatever they do, is putting a rift. And we are going to expose those masqueraders. Going to open a parallel DP office the other day. <coughs> so I asked my sort of idleness is this. I want to make the following announcements concerning our. In the next six months, DP is going to reclaim Kampala. Because we have the best program for Kampala. Now, when we have The National Executive Committee is going to announce interim leaders. Those interim leaders We shall do the same in all the cities. In all the cities. And the rural parts. The city will have an interim leadership for the city and the constituents. 
consequences, and then also we rule. Here, but the same. Massacre. We are going to fight based on our strength. I'm sorry we cannot defeat people in Lumpenism. That's not our strength. That's not our best use in Lumpenism. Some people said we were being vulgar. Some people saw that the next driver came there, but no, no dog can chase a car, but even if the, the driver stopped the car and left it, can the dog drive? My car. I will stop the car because if I talk and I fear you can bite me. But I leave you the car. I even leave the keys and the engine running and the runner. So you you are no attack. Because there's a flood coming in all political parties. You already see the flood. This is not going to get you
So, 